When it comes to training agents to perform complex tasks, online interaction with the environment can be costly and unsafe. In this light, our work looks at offline learning methods, specifically imitation learning. Consider some environment that we want to train an agent in. Like general offline learning, we only want to rely on previously collected offline data. We can utilize human data collected from an expert or robot data collected from a pre-trained policy, as well as other potential sources. Additionally, we do not have access to reward information, and hence, we collect demonstrations in the form of state action pairs. Imitation learning tries to solve this by recovering a policy that imitates the data set, assuming that the observed behavior is optimal. In our work, we relax this assumption, and instead, Consider that data can be suboptimal and that it is collected from a mixture of sources. This breaks the imitation learning assumption, and to solve this problem, we introduce our framework, iLead, which is imitation learning by estimating expertise of demonstrators. iLead takes advantage of the demonstrator identities, and in addition to learning a policy, it tries to estimate the expertise of each demonstrator in the data set. Some of them may be novices, in which case we want to ignore the recommendations, some intermediates, while others may be experts whose recommendations should be weighted more. So how do we extend this to imitation learning? Given a data set of observations, namely state action pairs, we define a task embedding that tells us how much of each skill a certain state S is testing. And accordingly, a skill vector omega, which tells us how proficient an agent is in each of the D skills. We think of expertise as a scalar row or the probability of succeeding and calculated by taking the inner product between the task embedding and skill vector, mapping into a probability using a sigmoid. This way, when the task embedding and skill vector are correlated, we expect the agent to perform well as their expertise is close to one. And conversely, when they are uncorrelated, the probability of success goes to zero. We parameterize our learning policy with theta, where our main goal is to recover the optimal policy. Given that pi theta is the estimate of our optimal policy, and the fact that expertise rho tells us how likely a demonstrator will act optimally, we can define the demonstrator policy, where in the discrete case, we take our estimate of the optimal policy and add uniform noise based on row. And in the continuous case, we use a mixture model to express our optimal policy and scale its variance using row. Finally, to construct our loss function, we compute the log likelihood of our data given the model and latent parameters, back propagating through our loss to derive our optimal policy, as well as the expertise levels and embedding. If the data is non-homogeneous, why should we throw away the information about who is who? Instead, one can use this information and optimize a joint likelihood for expertise and policy, leading to a better estimate. We first test our claims on simulated mixtures of experts using mini grid environments, where we pre-train experts using reinforcement learning and inject varying levels of uniform noise. Here, orange bars show the distribution of expertise in the populations. We see that iLead outperforms both behavioral cloning and Gale in all settings for both environments. This is expected since iLead can directly model the noise using its framework. But what happens when the model assumptions do not hold? Say instead if we consider human data. We test this by using the RoboMimic dataset, which contains 50 demonstrations from six humans with varying levels of expertise. The environment is a continuous control task where the goal is to have the robotic arm pick up a nut and place it on a rod. Our results show that iLead outperforms the best methods reported by the study, behavioral cloning with recurrence and iris, for all configurations of the data set. I show some of the rollouts here. Now, even though a policy from some optimal human data is challenging, iLead is able to consistently improve performance of imitation learning frameworks only by utilizing the demonstrator identities. The key takeaway is that by leveraging information about the demonstrator identity, our algorithm iLead learns a well-performing policy when learning from suboptimal data, even when we do not have access to any other signals such as rewards. Thank you.